Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you one of my favorite bicep exercises. I call it the squatted bridge curl. And at first it may look like just a low equipment variation on the bridge curl, but there's a little bit more to it. So what you're going to want to do is have some kind of a raised platform in these center blocks for what I'm using. If you're using full size Olympic plates and a barbell, uh, it can be a straight bar, but if you have a nice easy curl bar like this Bells of Steel easy curl bar, that's going to make it a lot more uh, joint friendly and easy. So all you're going to do is brace your elbows on your knees as you squat down. In some cases, it's going to be easier to start from standing, especially with heavier weights. Squat down like you're kind of in a goblet squat. Brace your elbows on your knees. You're going to experiment a little bit to see where it's comfortable. And then simply perform a preacher curl, right? Just go all the way down, get your full stretch, come back up. Now, a little bit more to it because unlike on a standard preacher curl where you're pretty much fixed in place, you have a little bit of play here. So when the weight gets really heavy, I can rock back a little bit. I can use a little bit of body English. Now we're not doing cheat curls. We're not, you know, we're not gonna swing it up or anything, but just allowing that little bit of sway, you know, to make the movement just a little bit easier, that lets you squeeze a lot more reps out than you would if your elbow was completely fixed while still maintaining, you know, the very, um, bicep focus quality of the movement. We're not, you know, letting momentum or anything else come into play. It's always going to be a very slow movement, so no, no momentum. Um, but you can just slightly change the angle of resistance just enough to squeeze that extra rep out. And that's going to make this an exceedingly potent exercise for hypertrophy. Because look, we're already in, we're getting maximum tension in that full stretch position. Biceps are fully stretched, lots of tension there, so that's Obviously a good route for hypertrophy. And then it's also just a super grindy movement that you can just grind out rep after every rep. So that makes it incredibly potent. You will see bicep growth off that, but it also means it's something where repetitive stress injuries can crop up quickly. So be you know, very mindful of your bicep tendons. Just make sure that um, you aren't using excessively heavy weight. If you start to feel sore, take them out of rotation for a couple weeks. Um, a little, go, a little goes a long way, but too much can easily lead to repetitive stress injuries, so just be cautious. But if you use this correctly, it's going to be an extremely potent uh, bicep developer. I think it has some advantages even over, you know, preacher curls, you know, with equipment, just because you do have a little bit more flexibility to just grind those extra reps out. Try it out.